Hello, my friends. Welcome to Nurturing Faith. I'm standing here on the Village Green in front of Davis Hall, and it reminds me of thinking about how we're going to be celebrating on this first this Sunday here, Pentecost Sunday, also known in many circles as the birthday of the church. Right? And so our story today, you can find it in our Bible books in the section called the New Testament, which is the second half of our Bible book. And it comes from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verses 1 to 21. That's the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verses 1 to 21. And this, this chapter is talking about the giving of the Holy Spirit and how Jesus promised that His Spirit, God's Spirit, would be with us always. Even if Jesus was no longer physically present with us, His Spirit would remind us of how we should live and how we should treat each other. And so I thought that today, this Sunday, standing here on the Village Green, being able to see Davis Hall, our fellowship hall, McNaughton Hall, where we have our nurturing faith uh, also known as Sunday School, or formerly known as Sunday School, but now we're calling it Nurturing Faith. And I can see the sanctuary and the preschool behind me. All this hustle and bustle of life. So being here on this Village Green reminds me of what it must have been like on that very first Pentecost Sunday when the people were gathering into Jerusalem after the death and crucifixion, the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. So here now, this story of how the first receiving of the Holy Spirit happened for the people. Listen closely. Something unusual was in the air in Jerusalem that day. No, it wasn't the heat. It wasn't the chirping birds or the clip-clocking donkeys as they came into town pulling squeaky carts of grain and fruit for the festival of Pentecost. No, there was an air of excitement hovering all over the city, along with the sounds of the cooing doves and the bleeding lambs on their way to the temple. Jerusalem was always bustling on the day of Pentecost. People came from all over Judah to celebrate this festival. And sitting at the gate, just imagine sitting at the gate, watching all the people as they entered into the city, to the marketplace. It was an amazing sight. I could imagine that. And all sizes and shapes of people walked by. There were mysterious languages began to touch your ears and you smells, all oh, the smells of spices and herbs. Oh, oh, just wafted right before your nose. Oh, the commotion of adults. Oh, think of all the adults talking, along with children playing and laughing. Oh, it gave such a special joy to the day. And as people traveled to Jerusalem, they sang the praises to God to lighten their steps on the dusty roads. Their songs lingered in the air. And Peter and the rest of Jesus' followers had been in Jerusalem now for many, many days. After the crucifixion and resurrection, Jesus had instructed them to wait in the city for a special gift, the Holy Spirit. Today, they too were excited and they were eager to celebrate this Pentecost. Well, on the day of Pentecost, Jesus' followers were all together and they spent much time together, praying and talking together. Perhaps they might have even been praying when it happened. For suddenly, suddenly, it was no ordinary day. No, my friends, it was not an ordinary day. Not even an ordinary Pentecost day. Oh, there was a breeze blowing that came into the room where they were. And the breeze, it got stronger and sounded like the rush of a mighty wind. I don't know if you can hear it, but right here on this village green, the trees are moving. There's a nice brisk breeze flowing. 
and this mighty wind, it was beginning to fill their ears and it was filling the room that they were in with this sound. It was like being outdoors in a windstorm. With the wind came what looked like tongues of fire. Can you imagine it, my young friends? Tongues of fire, fire, fire little flames and the flames they just danced they danced over their head of each and every person in the room oh they were dancing they were dancing but no one was burned can you imagine it looked like flames coming down from the skies and the wind was blowing it everywhere but no one was hurt Oh, it reminds us of another guy, Moses, when he went up to receive the Ten Commandments from the burning bush and he was not burned or hurt. And when the wind and all the flames, when they all disappeared, the people in the room, they found, wow, they could speak languages that they didn't even know they could speak. They could understand other people speaking languages that they had never heard before. This, this, my young friends, was the gift of God's Holy Spirit. This was the gift that Jesus had promised them. All this noise had attracted a crowd and they had been looking in the door and they were thinking, whoa, what is wrong with those people? They must have had a little bit too much wine to drink. And how can these people be speaking so many different languages? They asked each other. And, and why? Why can I hear that person speaking even in my own language when I know I've never seen them before and they're not dressed like me? They don't speak my language, but they are speaking my language. Well, Peter, he heard all the people outside and they were saying all these comments. And all of a sudden, Peter came out and he said, listen, listen to me, everyone. And everyone got quiet. They stopped talking. And Peter said, we are not drunk. Why, it's only nine o'clock in the morning. Remember what the prophet Joel said? God declared, I will pour out my spirit upon everyone. Your daughters and sons will have words from me. Old and young alike will dream marvelous dreams. Well, Peter's words, the words from God, why, they, they astonished everyone. The people outside the room and the people inside the room. And Peter told them about Jesus and the promise of the Holy Spirit. And on that special day, on that Pentecost day, unusual as it was, 3,000 people joined the followers of Christ. Oh, hallelujah, they said. Imagine that, 3,000 people joined the followers of Christ. You, my friends, you and me, all of us are part of that faithful group of people so long ago who made the decision to follow Christ. That Pentecost Sunday. So this Sunday, remember, the gift of God's Holy Spirit that rains down upon us that burns inside of us, that desire to want to follow Jesus. Come follow and say, Alleluia, Amen. <laughs>